All right, so we are back, and Ooh, what is that? Oh, okay, I I was like, where? It only has been a couple days for me since I re last recorded, so I shouldn't be this turned around. Oh, okay. <laughs> So Zevran, you leveled up. So let's give you a little more constitution because wow. Also some more cunning. Um your ranger. Oh no, we can give you a ranger though. So let's see. Um maybe we should work on these first. Yeah. Alright, Alistair. Give me a little more constitution, some dex, some cunning, and champion. All right. It shall be done. Take that. Look there, the cunning trap. Okay. Are crazy. I shall do it. Crazy, I tell ya. Where are we at? What's down here? I shall do it. I'm not gonna pass these up anymore. Anything over here? Pile of filth. It is begun. Mm, I think I've got room to loot. There we go. Seem to be having trouble with these stairs as of late. Right, little trap. Okay. I shall. <laughs> I think they are vulnerable to poison because, wow, okay, which way? Well, that looks like the way I need to go. Yeah, I'll just start looting what I can from here. Oh, somebody, okay, I was gonna say, is somebody move? Grab this. Uh, am I not able to loot that? What the? Okay. I don't know why I can't loot that, but fine. It was just seriously these stairs. I might have to go at an angle, or just wow. Okay, that is quite annoying, and that is. A dud. Can't get in there. Right. Onward. Uh, 
I don't even have to say it. Wait. Okay. Skatekeeper? Okay. Stop! Brothers and sisters! Be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parley? Sure. We are talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm. Provided your willingness to parley in peace is an honest one. Hmm. And how do I know I won't be walking into another ambush? What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. Then take me to this lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. Thanks. Okay. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Thank you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk. Do not listen to her, Lady. She will betray you. We must attack her now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift Runner's behalf. He struggles with his nature. As do we all, lady. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures. That their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. How do you know what he has or has not told me? Because there are things that he would not tell. Things that you should decide for yourself, whether you need to know. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy killed him the girl they raped and left for dead uh -huh. the dalish found her but she learned later she was with child she killed herself so zathrian cursed them i take it zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit Binding it to the body of our great wolf. So Witherfang came to be. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and 
savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady, you gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Why did you ambush the Dalish? For revenge? In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who are long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the landships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. I have another plan. Kill the elves. Kill Zathrian? No. I think he just wishes to cure his own people, nothing else. Why would Zathrian agree to come here alone? If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. Hmm. Very well. I will go to Zathrian and tell him this. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Okay. Looks like there's some, um, some Sylvan here. All right. Uh, ooh, loot before we go, you know. Might as well loot up, you know. You guys don't mind, do you? I didn't think so. Alright, um, one more. One more thing. As you say. Alright, uh, isn't there a... I'll just, I'll just go this way. She said this way, right? Yeah. Ooh. Treasure, treasure pile? What is it with the stairs? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Is it me, Alistair? No, it's not me. It's the stairs. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. It's ridiculous. Alright. So we need to, s to summon Zeth- not summon him, but go get him. More stairs. I'm about tired of these stairs. really am. It's a stair boss. Okay. Oh, well, looky, looky. Ah, and here you are already. Mm-hmm. Zathrin, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Mm-hmm. 
You mean you wanted to make sure I got the heart? Just so. Did you? No, I didn't. You didn't? May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? So you knew about this ruin. Why didn't you tell me? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? See, if you knew that I would find the ruin, and you said there was no... No, I don't like that. Because you could have very well told me that, hey, by the way, you'll have to look for a ruin in the deep woods, because that's where they dwell. She won't summon Witherfang unless you break the curse. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yes, I thought as much. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible. Serene and savage. Maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. But the werewolves have regained their minds. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I assure you the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son. To my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I wonder if I played as a Dalish, how this would go. Just wondering. But it's your own people suffering now, as well as them. I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. You can at least meet with them. That's what I propose. And what if it is revenge they want, and not talk? Will you safeguard me from harm? Sorry about the... the I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is my battle net. People logging in and out, so... Um, if you can hear that, I, I'm sorry. I don't think it will come to that. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Oof, you're not happy to see him. So here you are, spirit. <laughs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit, and you've given names to your pets, these beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian, and the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs, their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created?
He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. If your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. Mm -hmm. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No, that is not how it is. Oh, what a tangle web we weave, Zathrian. So with Zathrian's death in the curse? No. The curse has a life of its own, though Zathrian's life depends on it. His death plays a part in its ending, however. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! Jeez. See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. I don't care, Zathrian. I won't help you do this. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Oh, he... Oh, he summoned the demons? What? Oh my gosh. No quarter shall be given. Swift runner, we will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Is that true, or are you afraid of dying? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man. Alive long past his time. Then you'll do it? You'll end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Mm. Let us. Let us put an end to it all.
the human. They still it's have over. She's gone and, and we're human. Look at their eyes. I can scarcely believe it. You aren't going to miss all the strength and speed? Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. I do good work. Time to pay up. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. Yeah. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. Wow. Okay, well that's... That's it. What a happy ending. A uh, bittersweet ending. It shall be done. But happy nonetheless, because the curse is broken for those people that have been... How long has it been since they were cursed? It's had to be hundreds of years now. I don't know, because it... I didn't quite understand... If I can't get up these stairs... How long Zathrian has been alive, according to Witherbark, um, his people thought that he has found the secret to long life, as the Dalish used to have. They weren't immortal, but they lived very, very long lives, as we had read before. Um, and apparently Zathrian has been alive for a very, very long time. Um... Like I said, bittersweet. I, I hate that he had to lose his life, but his lifeblood was tied to the curse. Um, it was his doing. It was, yeah, his his spell, his curse that created Witherbark in the first place. And I swear, you gotta be kidding me. And I gotta go up some more stairs. I'm about tired of these stairs. I tell you, I cannot with these stairs. Okay, Alistair, you try. Maybe if I switch, there we go. Oh my gosh, just get me out of here. All right, let's head back to camp. And I will be right back. I'm gonna see if I can uh, log out of Babylonet. All right, so you know the deal. We're going to catch up with some of our folks in the camp. And it looks like we've got... Do we have any Dalish elves? It doesn't look like we do. Do I need to go talk to the elves? Maybe I do. You know what? Let's go back. I think maybe I need to talk to the, Del the Dalish. So let's grab yes. Alistair. Yes. Who did else do we have? Who do we have? When? Yeah. Yes. All right. I got a little ahead of myself there. Brazilian forest, Brazilian outskirts. Brazilian outskirts. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Uh. We've been waiting for you, warden. What? Ah! Who are you? Matchy. So who are these guys? Why are they after me? The dwarf rebel? Are they from Orzammar? Very well. No, they could be from Orzammar. Could they? I have no idea. 
Well, either way, obviously I've got enemies everywhere. I have a feeling they're part of Loghain's clan, maybe. Maybe, but there weren't... I didn't see any dwarves It is done. Astagar. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. Hmm. I think he was ready to go. I'm sure he was. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call and we shall come with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Thank you, Lanaya. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. Poacher. Achievement unlocked. All right, so we need to actually turn some stuff in here. Um, here you go. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I found some iron bark for you. Truly? Let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? Neither. I'm sure your clan needs it more than I do. I must admit I'm surprised to witness such generosity from an outsider. You have my thanks, and the thanks of my clan for this gift. I will not allow your generosity to go without at least some reward. Come. I shall make something of the wood you bring. Well, thank you. I've reformed the wood to my will. It is but a small token of our gratitude, but take it with my blessing. And I'm received. And what did I get? Uh, I have no idea. Dalish gloves. Um, dusk ring. Three cunning minus. I suppose I can give this to. Uh, he's got that. What is this? Spirit, charm of still waters. Barathorn's amulet. I have a feeling that's this. Somebody in the camp doesn't have a neck piece, so. Zathrin, you don't have a helm? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, you know what? Let me give him this gift. I'm pretty sure this Dalish the gloves are for him. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I thought you might like them. I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just... Wait. These are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. It was nothing. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, aha, yes. Athras. Oh. You have returned. Yeah. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? I do. You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? She gave me her scarf. See for yourself. That is her scarf. Where did you find her? What's become of her? She died from the curse. Zatherin told her the truth. Do I tell him that she was a werewolf? She died from the curse. The keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? Of course I am, dude. Uh, he must know she was a werewolf. Uh, absolutely. And she sends her, you her love as well. Oh. I see. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. 
Dareth Shira. Fare you well. What's going on with Wim? Okay, was there anything else I needed to do here? Um, I do want to go back in the woods for one quick look and to see if I can find um, that gravestone, the tombstone. Because um, I think that's the You! You were the Grey Warden who broke the curse! I demand to know what happened to the werewolves. Where did they go? Uh... Nowhere. I killed them. Do I persuade? Lie? Because they look like they're going to go after them. Nowhere. I killed them. You did? And somehow, I believe you. That you took action against those murderers speaks well of you. Take this token. It was crafted long ago by a mm. great master. Now I will go into the forest and hunt. Perhaps there are others still to be found, stragglers. I can only hope. Yeah, I... I... I don't like to lie, but I also did not want to be... Um... I shall do it. I didn't want her going in and seeking revenge because of hatred. These, these werewolves are no longer werewolves. They're human now, and so... Okay, let's see. Alright, disturb the tombstone. Do not let them overwhelm us! Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Who did that? We have all the pieces now. Quest completed. You have recovered all of the items hidden by the Tevinter Mage. Awesome. Alright. So that's what I wanted to return back for. Was that, that little... Wait. How do I get out of here? Can I cross this? I don't think I can. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, I just wanted to get that little piece le uh, that was left. I don't know who can use this, but we'll um, get back to the camp. Is this the way out? Is this the way out? Please let this be the way out. I feel like this isn't the way out. What the actual heck? Wait, what? Where are we? Oh, I am for real lost. All right. Oh, we've got bars. Oh my gosh. Why is it always bears?
let's figure out how to get back out of this the woods. What is this? Okay. North exit, south exit. Can we just get to the Dalish camp from here? No, we cannot. All right. So we need to Okay, we need to zoom this way. Here we go this way. Right? And go this way. Okay. Okay, there we go. My goodness. Okay. And we're out of here. Now. Okay, so... Refugees, battlefield. I do believe we have cleared everything. So our next stop will be Dinnerum. But let's go back to the camp real quick and chat it up. Um, also, I think I'm going to clear my bags out. But uh, let's see what the Dalish need. Emissary Karen. Karen? 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 All right. So Dalish requires... Crafting mats? Okay, what do you need? All elf root. Fine. Um, give all deep mushroom. Let's see. Give all death roots. And did I not give them everything? Um, coins, gems for the dwarves, yes, because I've got plenty of these. Uh, Malachites. And last but not least, topazes. Right. We are better with every step you take. Every move you make, I'll be watching you. Zevran? What say you? Hmm. Care to answer some questions? By all means. Why did you want to leave the crows exactly? Well, now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? You didn't choose to join the crows? Mm -hmm. To be truthful, I didn't even know the crows existed when I joined them. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased. For three sovereigns, I'm told. Which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. It sounds awful. Oh, I don't know about that. The crows who are actually good enough to survive come to enjoy some of the benefits. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect. It gets you wealth. It gets you women. And men. Or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I think I understand. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. Won't the crows eventually find you? <laughs> eventually can be a very, very long time if one plays one's cards right. Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. New ability. It's, it's, uh, moderate dexterity. Nice. All right. We'll go around the circle. Alistair? Something you need, my dear. I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. 
And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Extra, extra, extra careful. Great. And there I was, enjoying my nap. Hmm? I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. It's official. Sin. You called. I did. Uh, I do know why he was caged. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. All right. Let's go. As you wish. We haven't talked to Morgan in a while. Let's go over there. See how she is faring. I await your command. Hmm. I'd like to discuss something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Never mind. Let's see. I await your command. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> mm. Have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. <laughs> Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Ah. If fun, you, f you found it fun? I found the game fun. I was too young to understand the truth behind what was happening. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait, <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. Did you actually kill them all? Me? No, I never did any of the killing until later. And even then Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. Mm. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Do you, don't you regret hurting any of them? Uh. Do you still think it was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? Hmm. Well, let's see. Are there worse things than death? Maybe. I suppose there is a little bit of freedom with death. You could be caged. Or you could be in the circle for your whole life. Absolutely. Or you could be tranquil, imprisoned in your own mind. Then yes, absolutely, there are worse things than death. I would ask what exactly, but I'm certain that would be a lengthy conversation. Mm -hmm. And suddenly I grow very weary. All right. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. She did not like that. That's sad. Okay. I am... Um, well, Shale, my, my dear... I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I've decided that it is not much like any of them. Really? That's super. Thanks, Shell. Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? <laughs> um, would she know what Tyrion of High Ever is? There's a backhanded compliment there somewhere. Nonsense. It can imagine my surprise discovering such a thing was possible from a creature so soft. But there it is. 
I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. <laughs> I'll keep it to myself. Now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. Perish the thought, Shale. Perish the thought. I love her to death. All right. Liliana. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. That is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. That was beautiful. Um, I don't... I don't think I've ever heard that. That's beautiful. That... <laughs> I don't have a clue what she said, but it doesn't matter. And I love everyone's reaction. Sten, you can tell that he appreciates the arts. Morgan, you know, she's not very sentimental, except for a few things. Bits and bobbles, you know, shiny things. But, yeah, that was stunning. On that note, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I will talk to Ogren and, and Wynn on the next episode. And then we're going to head over to Denerim. We have all the, um, all the factions ready to fight for us. So we shall be off to Denerim. I think maybe there's a, maybe a few things I need to clear out on the map. I don't know. No, I think I got everything. So yeah, Dinner Room is our next stop. All right, guys. So thank you on that note. And I will see you next time. Ciao.